the equilibrium conversion. The equilibrium conversion. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the conversion of irreversible reaction. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss about the equilibrium conversion of a reversible reaction. In the case of reversible reaction, there is equilibrium conversion. You cannot go about the equilibrium conversion. So, suppose this is a reversible reaction in which A is converted into B. And when B is produced, it reacts again, it again converted into A. So, this is the reversible reaction. Now, what will be the equilibrium conversion of reactant A in the case of reversible reaction? We know that, that the react with the equilibrium reaction is the combination of two reactions. Right? In the forward reaction, the A was converted into B. This is the forward reaction. At the same time, the B was converted into A. So, this is the backward reaction. Now, the rate of conversion of A into B is different. Uh, 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 the rate of conversion of A is denoted by this is the rate constant in the forward reaction and this is the rate constant of reverse reaction. Now, the rate of conversion of A in this forward reaction is equal to minus Ra is equal to K1 Ca in the concentration of A. The rate of conversion of B is similarly the rate of formation of A in the backward reaction, we are going to discuss only the rate of A. So, the rate of conversion of A in the forward reaction was minus R A K C A. A was consumed, therefore, minus sign. In the backward reaction, the A is producing, so there is positive sign. And it is equal to the K2 and to the concentration of B. Rate of formation of A is equal to the K2 and the concentration of B. Now, what will be the total rate of formation of A? The total rate of formation of A will be equal to the rate of the total rate of formation of A will be equal to the rate of formation of A in the forward reaction, the rate of formation of A in the forward reaction and the rate of formation of A in the backward reaction. But in the forward reaction, the A is not forming, it is consuming. So, if we write this equation, R A is equal to K1 C A minus, then it will be shown that the rate of formation of A in the forward reaction, this now this will show the rate of formation of A in the forward reaction. So, the total rate of formation of A is equal to the rate of formation of A in the forward reaction is minus K1 C A minus K1 C A the rate and the rate of formation of A in the backward which is simple K2 rate constant in the second direction multiplied by concentration of B. This is the total rate of formation of A in the both forward and reverse reaction. But in the equilibrium the rate of reaction is 0. The rate of reaction is 0. So, it will be total rate will be equal to 0. It will be equal to minus K1 Ca minus K1 Ca plus K2 Cb. 
so now we will further discuss now 0 is equal to minus k1 ca plus k2 c b this is the equilibrium case in which the rate was equal to total rate becomes 0 now when the total rate becomes 0 then this relation then the concentration of a at, at the equilibrium the rate total rate of a becomes 0 and at the equilibrium the concentration of a and b was reached to the equilibrium so it is now the equilibrium concentration of a and b so minus k1 ca at the equilibrium concentration of a at the equilibrium is equal to the concentration k2 and concentration of b at the equilibrium so we can further rearrange it k1 divided by k2 is equal to equilibrium concentration of b divided by the equilibrium concentration of a and the k2 1 divided by k2 is called the equilibrium constant now the relation between equilibrium concentration and equilibrium conversion is obtained from the ice table which is i c e initial concentration change in the concentration and the equilibrium concentration this is the a initial concentration change in equilibrium initially there was an nr mole of a initially b was there was no b in the reactor this is a which is b now change in the a how much change occur in the reactant a it was in nr x how much change occur in the b the change occur in the b was equal to the change occur in a the change occur in b was equal to the change occur in a so the change occur in the b was equal to in a naught x but for the product for the product there is a positive sign and for the reactant negative sign because reactant is consuming and product is producing therefore there is plus sign now what will be the equilibrium concentration or the equilibrium moles how many moles will be present in the equilibrium in the equilibrium case how many mole of a will be present in the equilibrium case so it will be simply initial plus change which is n a naught minus n a naught x and it will be 0 plus n a naught x now at the equilibrium the a was at the, at the concentration of a was n a naught minus n a naught x and the concentration of b was n a naught and 2 x o so we can write in the case in place of we can write this relation is the equilibrium concentration of b was equal to in a naught x similarly the concentration the equilibrium concentration of a was in n naught minus in n naught x we further simplify in n naught x in n naught 1 minus x this cancel with this this is k so k is equal to x divided by 1 minus x and this concentration this conversion is called the equilibrium conversion 
If K is known, we can obtain the equilibrium conversion for reactant A or B. Thanks.